Back in Trois Rivières, Quebec, Canada. They turn out here by the tens of thousands for the Grand Prix of Trois Rivières. Several divisions of racing over the course of a three day weekend. And these fans are as intense as any you'll find anywhere in racing. We're glad to be here once again in 2008 for coverage of the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. Watching a tight three way battle here. Fifth, sixth and seventh. Elevon Goulart in the 70 has gotten around Ryan Shims in the 81. Shims our winner last time out. He falls back another spot. Rappelberg's picked up two since the start of this one. Todd Lewis. In the middle portion of this race, fellas, it's still kind of stagnant around the fifth place runner of Brad Rappelberg. He did jump up a couple of spots early on in the event and has been able to hold on to that, but not really gain any ground. He's got a number of cars behind him. We're looking to pounce on any mistake, but Rappelberg has shown this season that he's not one to make too many mistakes. Well, so far, it's going to be really tough for him because the fact is when you've got people trying so hard to get by you, trying to keep a good line, trying to be a, aggressive and still keep people behind you is tough to do on a street track. Trying to defend his spot now, coming up the long straightaway toward turn five. Elevon Goulart in the 70, the silver car. He took a look to the inside in that left-hander, but uh, didn't have enough room to make a move at that point. I'm not so sure he's not faster than Rampelberg. Well, you know, it's interesting because Goulart had dropped back for a while, and I thought he'd lost these guys, and now he's back on it again. And, you know, he may have just rested the brakes and got them back again, cooled them down, and is coming back at everybody because that does work where you can cool them down and use them easier for a little while. Ryan Shims back there as well in the 81, the Airco car, the winner last time out a couple of weeks ago at Road America. And, you know, it's one of those situations for Shims. He had such a great run there. That was such an intense race on a very big high-speed racetrack. I'm wondering if he's just having trouble adapting to this very short course. Oh, trouble. Tim Probert is off the course in one of the Alara cars, the 26. He stopped in a runoff area. It doesn't look as though he hit anything, but looks as though he may be dead in the water there. Well, he might be. Yeah, they're pushing it, so it looks like he's not able to start it and get it turned around. But they do have some good runoff areas here where you can get behind the tires on these uh, streets. Meantime, the leader starting to lap by Laura Olson in the 22 running 18th. She's uh, right in front of the car, Christian Frank. How about that lead battle, Todd Lewis? It doesn't look like much of a battle now for first and second, fellas, but the team is hoping that it becomes one. Todd Burris is trying to chase down Eric Foss. In fact, had to go around the 22 of Laura Olson. She battled him just a little bit, but then quickly moved out of the way so teammate Todd Burris could get by. We'll see if that maybe gets Eric off his rhythm just a little bit. Yeah, it's so tough to pass uh, cars here I mean even slower cars because the cars are still evenly matched even though they are lapped down the, uh, the acceleration up the straight is still the same working lap number 18 just past halfway of this timed event a little further back Brad Rampelberg, Elevon Goulart, Ryan Shim still with that great battle for fifth sixth and seventh and Robert McCallion back there in eighth he's starting to pull away now from Deborah Lott just a little bit he's opened up four or five car lengths on the 23 machine maybe more than that as Deborah Lott doesn't seem to be in frame at the moment so we've got a four car battle here for fifth and a good one really for sixth their nose to tail heading up the back stretch they are and it looks like Sometimes now Shims looks like he's got a lot for uh, Goulard again now, which earlier it seemed like Goulard was trying to get by Rampelberg. And so the guys are having trouble here and there, and I don't know if it's just a corner they just mess up or what the heck's going on, but uh, it looks like Shims is uh, really putting the pressure back on Goulard now. Well, these cars, of course, have the sealed spec motor, and of course, all, everything else on the car is very tightly controlled technically. So if you're Deborah Lott and you make a mistake in a corner, it doesn't take much to lose half a second, and then you don't have any contact with the car in front of you at all. No, that's true. And, and the fact is, is that uh, you need to sit there on somebody to get you the aggressiveness you're going to have to go fast sometimes. But she probably, uh, you know, we hadn't seen it, but uh, a little mistake. You just lose a little bit down one long straight, and you're done. Ah, Elevon Goulart under braking there into turn one. Carmel's got away from him for a second. There. Yeah, and you know, the other thing is, is that quite often you'll lose the front brakes more than you lose the rear, so it starts stepping out the back when you're on it because the brakes you really use for stopping are your fronts. They get the hottest, and surprisingly enough, it's the rears that start uh, locking up on you, not the fronts, because the fronts are going away. And of course, the fronts get most of the weight transferred to that end of the car, so that's why they would fade first, I would imagine. Uh, and that's true, and that's why, you know, you have a lot of uh, air going to the front brakes, but still, uh, about 80% of your braking is on the fronts with the weight that's on there, and you have very little weight on the back of the car, as you said. Aaron Malkasi, in the meantime, doing a very nice job running in the top three. Doesn't really have touch with the two lead cars, but this is by far his best performance of the year. And he's doing a great job because it looked like uh, for a while that Christian Franck was actually going to catch up with him, and now it looks like he's actually uh, pulled away from him a little. Now, if you're Christian Franck, you're 16, you wrecked the boss's car a couple of weeks ago hard. 
Do you want to challenge the boss on the racetrack, or do you just let him go? <laughs> I think you still challenge him <laughs> if you get a chance. But, uh, you know, I think he's doing everything he can to catch up. I think it's just very tough to do. And Eric Foss out here is just doing a stellar job of just pulling away, and it looks like Burris doesn't have anything for him. Yeah, Foss is certainly a guy who's looking like his championship aspirations may pay off here in 2008 in the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. We'll be right back in Canada.